And welcome everyone to lesson 5.3.1. How can you apply the concept of writing equations to lines? This time we're looking at if you're given two data points. So, for example, weather channels reporting on a snowstorm. We had one of those recently. At 3 a.m. there was two inches of snow. At 5 a.m. there was six inches of snow. They want to make a prediction of the amount of snow that will lay if the storm continues. We have to do a few different things for this here. So, we call this data points, or I call this data points, because we have two different points with which we want to use. We have at 3 a.m., or we can say 3, there was 2 inches of snow. So 3 comma 2 is one point. At 5 a.m., there was 6 inches of snow. So we can say that is 5 comma 6. In the past, if you had two points, first thing we need to do is find the slope. And if you remember, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So step one, find the slope. You can use either point um, as y1 and y2. I'll specify kind of an order here. Um, 3 and 2 is x1 and y1. So I'm looking at 6 minus 2 all over 5 minus 3. 6 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we have a slope of 3 halves. Now, with that, we then need to use point-slope form, which was y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So once again, um, y minus, we'll say 2, is equal to our three halves, x minus three. And if we follow that process, um, it's looking like y minus two is equal to three halves, x uh, minus nine halves. We'll leave it as a fraction. And I'm gonna add two, uh, nine halves, and plus two means I have negative 5 halves, and that is our equation. y equals 3 halves x minus 5 halves. Now y is actually our inches of snow, and x is the time. Um, so how much snow can be predicted over 6 hours? Okay, basically we're looking at y is equal to 3 halves, times 6 minus 5 halves, since 6 is our amount of time. Um, typing that in, 3 halves times 6 minus 5 halves means we're looking at about 6.5 inches. Okay? Okay, don't worry about part C. Um, made a little mistake with that one from before, so... Um, just worry about how to make um, time over the six hours given to you. As for number two, it's a similar question. So an arborist replants a tree at the height of three feet. Um, after two months, the tree is 4.5 feet tall. So he starts at time zero with three feet. After two months, so two, the tree is 4.5. So those are our two points for this particular example. So we need to write an equation to predict the height. First, we need to find the slope. So um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm gonna use this as x1 and y1 and go from there. So we're looking at 4.5 minus two all over three minus zero. Uh, 4.5 minus two is 2.5 all over three, and I'm gonna find that as a decimal and then as a fraction. So we are looking at five six. Now writing that as an equation, um, part two again is point slope. So we are going to use y, um, I'll use the second point, minus three is equal to five sixths x minus zero, that makes it easier for us. 
So we're looking at 5 sixth x plus 3, essentially. I skipped ahead a little bit there, multiplying the 5 sixth through, adding the 3 over. So there's our equation. Y represents our height, and X represents the months. So really, 5 sixth M plus 3. So after a year, which is 12 months, how tall could the tree be? Well, H is equal to 5 six times 12 plus 3. And that is... equal to 13 feet. Okay, so good stuff on those guys. Try out those practice problems. Um, one thing to note, uh, don't worry about um, this question C, part C there. Um, you should be okay from there. Okay, guys, um, good stuff, and let me know if you have questions.